Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Mystical. 11.0.5 has dropped this past Tuesday, and with that comes a lot of talent changes. So I thought I would put this video, like every other patch, and share with you every build that I think is the best for every kind of content. I'm talking PvP, you have Caster, Mist Weaver, Fist Weaver, PvE, Mythic Plus for casting and Fist Weaving, and Raiding as well for casting and Mist Weaving, and then also RBG. So hopefully this should stay up to date most of the patch unless they make some major changes. And with that said, Everything will be in the description below. Everything should be up to date now that the new patch is out. And let's jump right into the video. I want to start off with some PvP mist weaving. And this is what I've been running all week. I've done quite a few shuffles. I think I'm top 10 in shuffle. And I think I'm top 10 in normal threes right now as well. So this is what I've been running. It is a very solid build. This is healing that's going to come from your normal mist weaving. And then with new crackle talent, you're going to be healing through your jade fire teachings, which is absolutely hilarious. I don't think I have any. No, I don't have any breakdowns in PvP, but jade fire teachings and uh, will be your number one heal 99% of the time if you use your crackle correctly and you're playing against multiple teammates or multiple enemies. And I do think that Master of Harmony is the best hero talent to go with because of the Zen Focus T change. They bake Zen Focus T into Thunder Focus T and you have two charges of Thunder Focus T now. So I think it's just better. You start the game with essentially two charges of Zen Focus T, which I think is really good. So Master of Harmony, I think is the best. Uh, before 11.0.5, they made it easier to ramp up. They buffed some of the healing. They got rid of the bugs from it that have been in there since beta. So I think Master of Harmony is the best. And that is it for the casted PvP threes next up is pve fist weaving and obviously most of your damage and healing is going to come from your physical damage you're going to go for the rising sun kick talents for the damage increase from frosty of Zhuen. and on the right hand side you're going to go for the jade fire teachings i think you are going to play crackle it's just so much healing like like just flat out it's it's too much healing to give up so you have a large amount of healing through your fist weaving through your shaloon's gift and through your crackle there outside of having a damage reduction that we don't have i think misweaver healing is absolutely insane right now for aoe damage and i think for pve fist weaving you're still going to be running condo of the celestials i don't think much has changed here it's just good it is insane aoe healing the cooldown reduction from the heart of the jade serpent is amazing and you the little absorption shields that you could put out on people is amazing so i with that said i think that this is probably one of the better builds for pve mythic plus uh, when you're fist weaving next up is the rbg build and this is what i've been running for rbgs Again, I've been playing Master of Harmony, and on the left-hand side, really, there's not a whole lot that changes from Arena to RBGs. You pretty much just focus on trying to play quick-footed, and you go for all the movement increases because maps are pretty big. There's a lot of slows, so I go for that. And on the right-hand side, the healing is pretty similar. You're going to be using your normal healing spells, and then you're going to weave in your Crackling Jade Lightnings after pressing Thunder Focus T to get healing from your Jade Fire Teachings. This is absolutely insane. The amount of healing that you can do with Jade Fire Teachings and RBGs RBGs with uh, most I mean 90% of the time you have at least five people stacked up somewhere plus pets it's it's wild how much healing you could do so I always try to pair this with Zen Focus T because you get the Thunder Focus T into Crackle so you can't get interrupted you can get CC'd on it but you can't get interrupted on it which is really nice so if you're after stun DRs you you need to heal Thunder Focus T Zen Focus T, uh, Thunder Focus T into a Crackle with Zen Focus T is just the way to go but yeah this is the build I'm running it's been really nice if you want to play Connor of the slush shoes you absolutely can uh i think a lot some people play Connor, some play, people play master of harmony i prefer master of harmony these days just because of the doubles and focus t but again you can play condo of the slush shows this is what i've been running here but uh the link in the description will probably be for master of harmony speaking of rbgs this is what i use for flag carrying in battleground blitz on the left hand side not a whole lot changes you just want to make sure you go for all movement speed you go for the quick footed you get the swift dart you get tiger's lust with the increased roll distance and with the lighter than air you will be expected to flag carry still there is not another the only other flag carrier that i've seen above like 2600 mmr are prez evokers and the occasional resto druid or balanced druid those are the only other two flag carriers i've seen a rumor has it outlaw rogue could actually be a good flag carrier because i guess they get three grapple weapons now i have not seen that i have not seen that law rogue in a bg blitz on the right hand side not a whole lot changes when you're fist sweeping from your rbg build the biggest change is chi g you use this with your rolls because you can't be slow during chi g that's pretty much it everything else pretty much stays the same go for the big cocoon 
fine. You could go for healing down here. You know, you can maybe move, maybe resplendent miss if you really wanted to, but you pretty much just go for movement speed, heal when you can, but your primary goal is to get from the enemy base to your base with the flag. Next up is the raid caster build. And again, most of the healing from this is going to come from your healing spells, You, but you do want to weave in some damage. That's why you are going to be playing fast feet with martial instincts. And you're just going to try to weave in rising sun kicks while you're healing. That's pretty much it. It's it's quite a bit of healing. You get a lot of value out of your renewing mist when you get a ton of uh, tier of mornings out you get a lot more vivifies so just try to vivify when you have a ton of renewing mist out and you'll be fine again you have your yulon for a cooldown shaylin's gift is an insane amount of aoe healing and you are going to be playing zen pulse with the deep clarity i do like Hunter of the celestials for the aoe healing as well i think it's just too good especially with the absorption shields that you can put out with the the Nyuzu procs. I will be raiding on Saturday, which is tomorrow night for me, and I'm going to be doing more testing with this build, so I am pleased with how this build has felt so far. If you don't want to cast in raid, you can, of course, do more damage. So this is the fist weaving type build where you're still going to be doing mostly casting, but you are going to be playing Rising Mist instead of Tier Morning. Uh, what, what Rising Mist does is when you Rising Sun Kick, it's going to extend any Renewing Mist or Envelope Mist you have out in the raid, which is really important. You're also going to be playing Crane Style, which will heal your teammates when you do any physical damage with rising sun kick spinning crane kick or blackout kick so a little bit more fist weaving you're still gonna be casting because you want to extend your hots from you know your renewing mist and vault mist with your rising sun kicks but still you're gonna be doing quite a bit more damage which is nice so if you want to do more damage play this build if you want to do more casting and mostly focus on just healing from range i would use the other build this is my mythic plus casting build on the left hand side really there's not a whole lot that's crazy over here you're just gonna go for touch of death go for the fatal touch talent then increase the damage you do for 30 seconds and then reduce the cooldown of Todd, which is great. And then you're just going to go for defensives and damage with your fast feed. I go Condo of the Celestials because, again, I feel like in PvE, the AoE healing from Celestial Condo is just insane, in my opinion. And on the right-hand side, again, I, I Frankenstein this build together. I combined my RBG build with the raiding build and kind of came up with this. I think you're going to do quite a bit of healing with Kraken Jade Lightning with the Jade Fire Teachings. I think that's a no-brainer. A lot of packs have, what, four to five plus mobs. So I think this is really, it, it's ideal for Jade Empowerment. And then I think Shaylin's Gift is too much healing to give up. So I go with Shaylin's Gift. And then uh, right here, I do like Zen Pulse a lot. I'm, I'm a big fan of Zen Pulse. So uh, I do I do spec in Zen Pulse. If you don't like it, I mean, that's fine. You could just drop it and then you get an extra point. You can maybe put it into Legacy of the Wisdom. It's completely up to you. Just depends on what you want. But I do I do like Zen Pulse. I think the healing is nice. You know, get with you just just know you're going to get the proc after thunder focus t when with deep clarity uh so that's why I, that's why i've been playing it but again if you have any questions about it let me know this is always a work in progress for cast or mistweaver and mythic plus i feel like it's not a very common thing that people do so again if you have any pointers or any suggestions or any builds please let me know and i will happily test it finally these are the talents i use when i'm fist weaving in pvp i've done some testing with this it feels pretty good but i think it's still a work in progress i think that fist weaving struggled at the start of the expansion but i think after the recent changes there's actually some neat situations that you could use it on the left hand side you're going to go for mobility and damage right because you're fist weaving if you're not doing damage you're not healing go for fast feet for increased rising stun kick damage go for ferocity of Zhuen for all damage and then get clash to help you get to the target easier on the right hand side you're still just going for the fist weaving side of the tree you're doing the standard talents up top here but then you go and get jade fire stomp and get your jade fire teachings to increase the amount of damage that gets converted to healing which is fantastic i think a flex talent here could be the t of plenty you could probably go here for focus thunder probably a better chance choice it is awkward down here because i feel like you don't use peaceful mending because you're not ever really soothing misting because i don't play statue you could i guess go for statue if you wanted to and then get more value at peaceful mending but again i'm still gonna be testing this build quite a bit and yeah that's pretty much it you're gonna be playing chi -G, short chi -G, and you're just gonna be playing crackle i really like i think most of your healing is gonna come from crackle which is pretty wild that you're gonna be playing crackling jade lightning as a fist weaver but it's just too good not to play so these are the talents i use when i'm fist weaving pvp and that is pretty much it for me if you have any questions at all please let me know i am more than happy to answer any questions update any any builds and that is it for me hope everyone has a fantastic day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later